Alexa, start, starts timer, 20 minutes. All right, so today I figured, I've got all these paper strips, figured I'm going to make some do-it-yourself borders out of paper strips and the painter's tape. So I just hooked it down here, and I'm just going to lay this across here. And I think I'm going to put this, this white is real shiny. This is really pretty. Maybe I'll put this in between each one. That's pretty. Here. And you can make it as long as you want, which is nice because you can put any color in between. And then you can be trimming it as you go. And let's see, I think I'll trim some of this. And these look really pretty on, um, and you could do whole 12 inch strips if you wanted to. Do it on scrapbook pages, put it in journals, put it on cards. I like to use it as a rib, as in place of a ribbon strip on a card or along the edge of a card. Just another way to use up scraps. So I'm in Connecticut and it's been snowing the last couple days. So we've got quite a few inches out there. again just to and yeah that's looking pretty and then what you can do is as you're doing this you can actually start rolling this up if you wanted to and just have a Continued roll. And you can just keep make it as long as you want to make it. So have you ever made anything like this? Something similar? Or does this trigger another idea for you? If so, share it in the in the comment section. doesn't matter how long they are. You'll eventually get through them all if you just keep poking at it and just keep laying them down here. My cats aren't up here jumping all over this because that's one of their favorite things to do. As soon as I sit down, they usually want to come jump up on the desk and see what's going on. One of them loves to try to get next to me and try to dump my paper garbage over. Because <laughs> he likes to be a pain in my rear. But 
little does he know I find it kind of humorous <laughs> You can see how quickly this is going. Just keep adding and adding and adding to it. exciting one the longer it gets and when you're using it you can just glue it down to your journals or cards or scrapbooks or whatever you're using it for and then just trim the size you need I'm going to try to keep doing videos each time I'm using my scraps because I have so many different ways that I use my scraps. And I thought, you know, that's one thing I like to go online and see if I can find more ways. And a lot of times it's hard for me to find ways because I'm already doing that or Another thing I like to do with these type of scraps is put them behind negatives. Like for instance, these. I cut out some ovals. And see, so you can line these scraps up behind it, and it looks really pretty. here and the snow slide down off the roof of the house. <laughs> Scares the cats. lunchtime I can hear my husband down there getting ready he likes to eat an early lunch I just have a I don't have a stamping room I have a, a stamping corner in my bedroom, which suits me just perfect. But that was shiny on the other side. I should turn that over. amazing to me how quickly this fills up and how many scraps I can get through.
I'm so glad I'm a, a crafter. I don't know what non-crafters are doing through this quarantine business. It's been helping to keep my mind sane, thank goodness. I think I'd be bored to death if I didn't do my crafts. I do like to read too, so I'm sure I'd be doing a lot more reading. And I play ukulele, so I'm sure I'd be doing that a lot more. Though I usually do that every day anyways. I find that very relaxing and soothing to play my ukulele. Do you play an instrument? What have you been doing for the quarantine? We can come up with a list of ideas of things to do for, during quarantine. I know my grandkids love to come up here and sit at my desk. My grandson especially likes to come sit at my desk when he's doing his schoolwork because then he can poke around and entertain himself rather than do his schoolwork, silly boy. He's 10. My granddaughter likes to actually sit here and craft. And I always tell him, any of the scraps you can have at them. And they know which drawers have the scraps in. And I have containers that have little scraps in them, different sizes. And they know where my glues and tapes are. And they love I think all kids, and a lot of us grown-ups too, we like to have that freedom of just stuff to play with. There we go. Alrighty, this is getting quite long. I think I'll do a little bit more and then I'll up and maybe I'll do something with them. some of these. That's nice. Some more white. I have a lot of white. Usually I go through my white really fast and don't have white scraps, but these scraps are so pretty because it's on shiny paper. I don't know if you can... Here, let me turn that on. I don't know if you can see that. It's really pretty and shiny. And this actually came from a junk mail. So I, I saved those because they're those golden strips just because they were so pretty.
So this is my second video that I'm making now. It's rather fun. I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I do. It's just relaxing. This is what I like to do to relax. I just come up here in the room and just kind of hibernate and just sit here and play with whatever strikes my fancy for the day. A lot of times it's just mindless. I just don't think about it. I just do it. Other times I actually have a plan or if I get a I think the most exciting thing that gets me revved up to, to play with my stuff is when somebody get, gives me a bag of their scraps. Because we have a lot of people from Stamp Club and, and from church that are stampers too, or scrapbookers. And so they, they know we make elderly cards for the senior center and the rehab places. So they'll bring over and drop by surprises for us. And that's, that's always so exciting. Paper, more paper. <laughs> I know that's silly, but I don't know. I guess I've got an addiction to paper. And honestly, I think we all do, my whole family. Six of us kids like to like to draw and be crafty. Four brothers and one sister. All of us do crafts in some way or another, which is kind of neat. When we get together, we share what we've been working on. Ooh, that's a solid one. Good. Smooth the matte white cardstock I like to print words on. So if they're wide enough, then I set those aside. Yep, I can set that one aside. Okay, I'm hoping to get down with some of these, down to just whites or just a few of these oranges left. I should be using more orange in here too. Well, I hope you like this idea. I'm going to try to come up with more ideas. And each time I sit at my desk, I'm going to try to remember to turn on the video and take a video of me playing around with my scraps because that's mostly what I do is play with scraps. So, and I've been doing this for, gosh, about 20 years now. So that's a long time to play around with scraps. Oh, I can hear my husband down there coughing and hacking. He just came inside. He must have gone out and shoveled. smoker and boy does he have a hard time when he go, goes in and out. So he won't admit it. Yep he is. He's going in and out. and I'm telling him he's got old man syndrome because my grandpap used to love to run down to the store for just little old things. Here's my alarm. Alexa, alarm off. My grand 
Pep used to love to run to this store quite often, and my friend's husband used to go every single day. He'd find a reason to, oops, we're, we're getting low on butter, or we're getting low on this, or we're getting low on that, and that's what my husband seems to like to do now. He likes to just go to the store to get something so that he can have a reason to go out. He doesn't like to just go for rides, unless we're out. If we're out, then he'll say, hey, you want to stay out for a bit and continue on and go for a ride. And it's like, yeah, definitely. I love to do that. Alrighty. So, I think I'm going to finish this and then I'll show you how long I was able to get it. Then, I will do another video at another time to show you how I use this. Because I'm sure that's in the very near future because once I get one of these done, it gets me excited. It's like getting a new thing of washi tape or something because now I can play with this too. I don't want to finish this piece. Whoops, here's a little bit of purple. Put that between. Can I finish that? <laughs> Almost. Small piece of black. Alrighty, let's trim this off. Alrighty, very good. Not too bad. So I can tear this off and look at how long this is. <laughs> Boy, is that long. Woohoo! See, that's exciting. And then I just roll it up in a roll. to start the card. Do I have a blank card over here? Nope, let me grab one. Blank ones. Yes, I do. Well, here's a card front anyways. I can put it on here. So what I like to do is just take it and just put it alongside and tape it down like that. Glue it right to the side of the card or put it right down the center and then put stuff around it. That looks pretty. I like to use it as borders. Sometimes I'll even cut it thin and use it as thinner borders too. So, all right, well that's it for now. I hope this has encouraged you to make something. So until another day, happy stamping.